Here we go, the main event of the evening. 10 rounds for the Southern Area Super Lightweight title, currently held by Denis Denikayev, the unbeaten man wearing the black trunks with the red gloves. Challenger Tom Ansel. I don't think I've watched Denis Denikayev, to be honest. I don't think I've ever seen the lad. I've seen the name. Um, he he won the title last July, I think it was last July, last summer. Stopped ID Hill with an absolutely brilliant um, sort of flying left hook, which he's been setting up for a while. He's a he's a good good fighter, Denis Denikayev. So is Tom Ansel, though. He's fought it. I've been in with Tom Ansel. Oh, lovely fast right hand there from Denikayev. Caught Paul Ansel. He took it well. Ansel fancies himself as a puncher. This could uh, this could turn into a, a very very decent scrap, Jamie. Yeah, I moved Tom Ansel round, didn't I? I um, on a late notice, Steve phoned me at I think it was ten to eleven in the morning, and I was due on the scales at three o'clock, and I wasn't supposed to be fighting. And uh, yeah, I had to. I had four sandwiches and drank two liters of water on the way up to the thingy to make the weight. Oh, lovely fast right hand over the top. Good shot from Denikayev. He's taken that well, Tom Ansel. There, he does have two defeats on his record, Ansel, but they came to Sajid Abid. Very recently, beat Mikey Saki to move into the position of mandatory challenger to Lucas Ballingall's super lightweight title, English light title. Denikoyev isn't messing around here. He's, you know, he's quite, he's frantic. No. He's on the front foot. He wants, he's he looking, wants his done. He's looking great. I mean, I know they all say it, but there's talk of him. Potentially a world champion. That was a lovely fast left hook. And again, he's digging those shots in. Ansel lets his hands go, though. Ansel's a strong, he's a strong lump, mate. He's, he's oh, a, and again, that left hook. He's Ansel. a tough lad, Ansel. Um, Dennis Dyakayev looking the cuter of the two at the moment, but Ansel's not being shook or rocked by nothing. Former um, rugby player, Ansel. A high-level rugby player as a youngster. <laughs> for me, this is a Dyakayev round, though, Jamie. I don't know about Yeah, you. yeah, for me, he's took the round, yeah. And you know what Dennis Dyakayev's doing, which I've been asking for all night? That jab, Using the jab. That jab, <laughs> that jab, Dennis Denikayev, my man! <laughs> Decent opening round, that. No time wasting from either man. Look, Denikayev's come straight back out. What's he doing? Straight Using on that, that jab. jab. Straight on that jab. Softening him up, making him make mistakes, making him move when he doesn't want to move. Nice boxing. Slipped a slipped a counter from Ansel there, Denikayev. Yeah, Tom Ansel still not being deterred. You know he's coming forward. He still looks solid. Yeah, he does. He's robustly built, isn't he? Yeah. This this is still. You can tell he's a he's an ex rugby player. He's got a rugby player's face. Weirdly, weird to say that. What does a rugby player's face look like? I've played rugby for a quarter of a century. I'm still pretty. You are? I'm still pretty. I'm not. I've been boxing 27 <laughs> years. I still, digging them in there, Tom. Yeah, Tom I still Ansel. feel this is going to catch a light. Um, this is still early days. Um, Ansel's really having a good go though, and this, this is what he needs to do. He's got to take Dennis Derkayev out of his out of his move. You know, he's looking. Yeah. Take him out of his swing. With all due respect to Idris Hill, who Derkayev emphatically wiped out in the fifth. Oh! Oh! Massive oh! Punch. Talking of emphatic, that was a very very heavy 
blow. Dedekayev is rocked to his core. He's doing everything to buy time. Little John walks towards the referee. He's going to let this go ahead. You said it might catch fire, Jamie. Ansel is sticking it on Dedekayev. His head's rocking back. Ansel's winging. The shot's in now. Dedekayev still has a minute and ten seconds of this round to survive. And Tom Ansel is just lining him up. Dedekayev still hasn't got his feet back, Jamie. You, you did say as well, in the last round, you said that Ansel finds himself as a puncher. Well, he's just proved himself to be a puncher right there. That was... I mean, he collapsed. He that sunk to his feet. That was right hand. And do you know what? Almost he's, folded him over. He's done very well to come back in the manner he has. Yeah. Here. And he's so got fast. to be careful, though. He's got 40 seconds of this round now. That's... Take the 10-8. It's going to be a 10-8. Get on your the bike. The recovery there is, is a testament to Dennis Dekoyer's fitness. To recover that quick from that, what he must have worked yeah. hard in the gym. Good lad. Yeah, trains six times a week, Dekoyer or something, twice a day. It's a very dedicated fighter. This is the first real test of his career. As I was just saying, Idris Hill was not with as much respect to him he was not a much of a test for Denikayev it was always coming that stoppage this is a oh, lovely movement from Denikayev under spins round Tom Ansel well what a round well Denik so far for Denikayev. me that's the shot of the night yeah what beautiful beautiful what shot what a right hand Denikayev literally just melted into his boots did excellently to recover and finished reasonably strongly considering the position he was in but that was a 10-8 round to Tom Ansell who yep. doesn't do anything he's not flashy Tom Ansell is he but he's two, solid two rounds to one with only two boxed again he's just trying to manhandle Denikayev now Ansell he's feel like his confidence is on a high after that second round well, he just knows he can hurt him, doesn't he? And some. But that what? Did, that did not. I mean, how many fights have you seen where that would that was it? That would be game over. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what? I thought it was going to be game over then. When Denikayev got up, he was still a bit wobbly, and I wasn't sure if the ref was going to let it go. But look at him now. What a testament to his yeah, fitness, man. Pumping that jab out again. Yeah, he's back. He's moving fluently. He's looking good. This has got the makings for a great fight. Yeah, what a lovely again, little screw shot there. He's, as I say, I am a big fan of Denis Denikayev. And, you know, well, every fighter's going to get tested when they get hit on the chin. And this is the first time in his career he's really had that. As I say, mate, it's boxing. You go swimming, you get wet. Oh, lovely. The body shot, Denikayev. Pumping out that double jab is what I like to see. Doesn't want to lose his title or his unbeaten record here, Denikayev. Tom Ansel. Tom Ansel says he wants to be a world champion. Well, who doesn't? But he wants to win all of the belts on the way, which I always like to see. Oh, ho, 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 swing and a miss. Denikayev did well to dip under that. Oh, good double jab there from Denikayev. Just put Tom Ansel's movement out a little bit. Again, it's really... The one thing for me, Tom Ansel now doesn't want to go gun-ho on that. Doesn't want to go searching for that big shot because it will just be so readable. Denikayev will get himself out of the way and he will cap capitalise on picking him off with that jab, as you can see right now. So Tom Ansel wants to go about his work, calm down, find that right, let the right hand find its home. Don't search for it. Who have you given this round to, Jamie? This round so far is Denikayev round. Lovely right lovely hand right there hand. by Denikayev. He's got lovely fast hands, Denikayev, and when he lets them go... He's got cute boxing skills. See them little slips? He's just slipping off that jab bay on the inside. He's got nice skills. Denikayev round for me. 
Right, so going into round four, I currently have it sitting a draw. I have round one, Denikayev, round two, Ansel, with a 10 8 round with a droppage, and then the last round, Denikayev. So. Yeah, Ansel still looking for that one big shot in the third round, and Denikayev. Okay, look at that jab, one, two, three, four. Ansel moving his head well there, though. Started this round, he was dipping off that central line quite nicely. There, look at that, lovely. Oh. Good good defensive movement from Ansel. Lovely jab from Danakayev, good Danikayev movement. spinning him, he's reading that, as you say, that sort of big right hand is telegraphed somewhat, and Danakayev is knows it's coming. The proof's in the pudding, the, the right hand that knocked him down, he didn't search for that, it just came. So don't search for it, let it flow. Good body shot from Tom Ansel. Denikaya's best weapon is that jab. Lovely jab. I just love his left to the body. But it all comes off a jab. He Wh finds a home for it off a jab. Lovely every time. This is turning into quite the fight. The only other blip on Tom Ansell's record is a uh, points lost to Chris Adaway. Yeah. No real shocker. shame in that. Well, Chris Adaway's a very good away fighter, I think. Dave Tom Chris Stalker, is, nightmares. Chris is all right. He's from down my neck of the woods, isn't he, Chris? Yeah, nice. his brother, brother fought for the southern area. Fought for my old belt last weekend. Featherweight, yeah. Yeah. Did it bring it back to Devon for me? Bless him. Oh. And again, another good fight that between him and Lewis Frimpong. Um, it was a good fight. Um, Con a Connor was above his weight. Connor's, Connor's not a featherweight. He's a super bantam, really. But oh. Tom Ansell started to find. A very well matched fight, this, for me. Very, very even fight. Another one where you feel like, well, I mean, we've already seen one. There could be a could be an early night. Styles make fights. Den Dennis Danakayev is clearly the boxer. Here. He's, he's got the better boxing skills. Tom Ansel's the rough and ready. Got that dynamite in both hands, and you know he's, he's making it count. Both having a good good go here. Two of his ten wins have been stoppages, but as you say, that doesn't really do do his power justice you can see it can't you <laughs> round number five how did you score round number four there Jamie you know what last last round was really hard to score um, do you know what I, I thinking back to it I'll probably give it a draw they both they both had their fair successes and nobody outdone anybody else from my opinion I felt again it was just a slightly Denikayev Let's go, Tom. just for the cuter boxing although Tom Ansell did did sort of mix it up a little bit more and had success when he did as you said when he doesn't go forcing the issue with that right hand that's when it looks most likely to uh, yeah, that's when he has his success yeah forget about the right hand it's always going to be there the power's not going to leave you so just do your work and it will find its home nice movement in and out around the ring changing direction from Denis Denikayev Denikayev has gone a little bit lack on that, that's better, the jab, he wants to keep that jab going because it keeps Tom Ansel at bay and, you know, it keeps him thinking. Oh, coughing right hand from Ansel there. Sudden right hand into the side of the ear. Good right hand in response from Denikayev. Champion. 
looking to retain his southern area super lightweight for me Denikaya especially in his early rounds or the earlier rounds he wants to keep on his feet keep using that jab and when he's landed get out because Ansel he is dangerous has proved already another good right hand from Ansel there but it's single shots at the moment I mean I realise a single shot is all he needed in the second round but if he's not dropping his guy they're not going to not going to steal these stanzas Denikayev just wants to keep moving tire Tom out a little bit yeah. suck a little bit of energy out of him so that, that right hand's a little less dangerous before he starts holding his feet in my opinion he's got a beautiful jab but he just needs to make it work 30 Lovely. seconds to go in this fifth round almost at the halfway point another hard round to score this both having yeah. success Denikayev better off the jab Ants was throwing the inside work it's a bit of what you like isn't it oh. swinging wildly there Ansel it makes Denikayev miss the draw towards the final few seconds of this fifth round the body yeah, shot drops, from drops well. Denikayev uh, is accurate <laughs> The pattern of the fight so far has very much been box and move, stick and move from Denikayev. Mixing his, mixing his work up and Tom Ansel just looking to, to crash home, crash land one of those big right hands on. I think we can both see. Champion. And there we go. We're, we're both seeing the difference in Denikayev since that round two. Um, he was on the, in round one he was happy to sit on the front foot and, and have it with Tom Ansel he got caught in round two and maybe him in his corner have said right let's get on that back foot let's tire him out a bit you don't want to get it's caught working. cold on one of them again let's just say it again what a right arm wasn't it it was a belter it was uh, highlight reel right arm it was, uh, yeah I mean if you feel for Tom Ansel he'd, he'd love that on his on his ledger wouldn't he for a finishing blow. He'll definitely be getting a clip of this recording and keeping that. Yeah. He'll be playing that back when he retires. Just withering. Then a guy loves that double jab. You know it keeps him it keeps Dancel busy as well. It's a scoring shot. Ansel now picking up the jab, picking up the jab, jabbing with him. Good right hand, Denikayev. Light on his feet as well, Denikayev, isn't he? He's not. He is, yeah, very. Says super lightweight is his uh, is his division, Tom Ansel. He has fought up at one five four. Oh, yeah, I boxed, I boxed him at oh, 10 stone 7, which is welter. It's the heaviest I've ever been, actually. 10 is 7, it, I can't I was going to say, what is that? Like I say, Your I'm ideal weight is what? Featherweight? 9 stone, yeah. I've boxed, I've boxed at 6 weights as a fighter, but... Oh, like I said, I ate and drank all the way up to the weigh-in to make the weight for Tom. I had to put weight on. <laughs> don't think you're supposed to admit that Jamie but oh, it's all right it's all right it's I'm all still, in the past now I'm still alive still got my faculties <laughs> unlucky with the right hand there Ansel just we missed him by a whisker then Akaya staying busy on that front hand lovely nice, little left hook nice pivot there to yeah, get himself absolutely. out of danger Oh, lovely and he made right Tom hand. Ansel pay for that wild right hand, and Denikayev goes down to the body. Crowd pick their noise up here. It's Denikayev just just Den edges that round again. Yeah, Denikayev for me. Four rounds to go. Jamie's card reads
Denis Denikayev is two points up. I've got him three points up. I didn't give a drawn round. The only round Tom Ansell has in his name is the second where he dropped Denis Denikayev, the champion. Dropped him heavily and hats off to Denikayev for you know the way he's come back. Shown massive resolve. Look at him go. He's still firing that jab out like he's a fresh first rounder. It's not, it's not quite panic stations yet for Tom Ansel, is it? But no, another, no, no. Another round like this where he gets picked off and you think he's got to start throw caution to the wind for the final three, no? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, and it, a good, a good, another good left hook from Denikai who then moves out of the way of his opponent's work. The thing is, with any fighter, the last thing that goes is their power. He's going to carry that power for the full 10 rounds. So Denikayev has to be switched on at all times. He can't afford to have one momentary lapse of concentration. So realistically, it's not panic stations for Ansel at all. He can catch him at any point. But he needs to keep working himself into the fight. Don't let Denikayev run away with it. He's not, yeah, he's not, um, he's not landing enough. He's not scoring enough for me to be winning these rounds. Tom Ansell, though, as you say, is always dangerous. He's, he's struggling with his lack of mobility here, Ansell. Denikayev dancing rings around him, popping him off with a jab, and occasionally putting the backhand down as well. Ansell doesn't have the footwork to keep up with Denikayev, and he's not cutting the ring off successfully. So, you know, he's going to have to start stepping left, stepping right, shutting Denikayev down, stop him having that free range of movement. Was he to win this evening? Um Tom Ansell. Do you see him? Do you see him, you know, going on to sort of English level or? Yeah, I could see him fighting for an English title. Um, he's got the power to, yeah. to hurt anybody. Denikai have looked like he might have hurt Tom Ansell then, but only briefly. Good body shots there from Denikayev. Quite, quite low from Denikayev though, the, the right. They were sat on the waistband there. Movement's lovely. Denikayev's really, really putting on a show here. It's like watching Billy Elliot in theatre. <laughs> Ansel looking a little bit more lively now. A lot of head movement, upper body movement. Ready a few seconds to go. Denikayev. Just Shocking landing right the cleaner work, looking looking the slicker boxer. And again. Good round. Denikayev again. Denikayev just a little bit slow off his stool there. Denikayev, I don't think it was any um, any indicator of fatigue or anything like that, just maybe time. He's looking still, very sprightly still. still, still. Yeah, he's still very sprightly, um, very light on his feet, bouncing around on his toes. That jab is still electric. Look how sharp that jab is still. Look at that body shot. He's hunting now. Denikayev really letting his hands go. Ansel's having to fire back off the ropes. Brilliant one. And then clings on for dear life. Referee steps in. Just separates them. Denikayev takes Denikayev's a few steps come back. out in beast mode like he really, really wants to end the show. Well, he's not been having any problems landing. It's just that he hasn't, you know, wobbled or stiffened the legs of... Yeah, but the thing is, Mansell. he hasn't really been putting beef in the shots. He's been hitting the moving since the knockdown, hasn't he? So maybe now he is sitting on them a little bit and, and planting a few and seeing how Ansel likes it. You can see that he's planting a bit there. Wow, as you said, he made the mistake of Staying trying to stand long. toe to toe with Staying him in long. the second round. And let's hope if confidence gets the better of him, that could be the case again for Denikayev. He may well eat another Tom Amsels. Heavy right hands. At the moment, though, it is still all Denikayev. Ansel needs to pick his pace up if he wants to have any shot in the fight. He needs to push him back a little bit, cut the ring down. Yeah, as you say, his sort of ring IQ hasn't hasn't been quite enough to get to get him into the position to 
where Denikayev can't get away from those shots. You see he's just pivoting off him. Yeah, getting he, on his bike a little bit, moving left, moving right. There needs to be a right. lot more lateral movement from Tom yeah. Ansel. Lateral movement will cut Denikayev off. Stop him moving left and right. Pin him into the corner and let your hands go. At the moment, he's just following him and letting him have free reign. Denikayev can flick that jab and move, flick that jab and move, and he's just walking into a losing fight. Better work from Denikayev on the front foot. And again, leads with the backhand right. Denikayev as Ansel walks forward into it. Just For me, Ansel looking like he's slowing down a little bit. Yeah, well, good right hand though. Started to get a little bit messy in there then. Good right hand from Tom Ansel, replied by Dennis Denikayev. Yeah, looking to finish the round in the ascendancy. Lovely right Denikayev. hand, body shot, beautiful Goes down body to the shot, body, yeah. Lovely uppercut to finish the round, Denikayev round. I have Denikayev a healthy right lead round. now. Yeah, 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 healthy, very healthy. <laughs> Penultimate round. Penultimate round. I'd beat you to it. I know it's your favourite <laughs> word, Adam. Come on, let's go. Penultimate round. For me, Tom Ansel needs to step it up here. Needs to really force the occasion. He's got a lot of work to do, Tom Ansel. He hasn't hasn't quite figured out Denikayev yet. Dennis Denikayev has put on a beautiful display of technical boxing since his droppage. Um, you know, he's stayed safe and he's used that jab. He, basically, the jab has won him the fight since round two. And, you know, he's kept on them feet, kept on that bike, changed the angles and made it a really hard night for Ansel. He just can't seem to pin him down. How tempting is it if you're Denis Denikayev now to try and rubber stamp this win by going for it? Yeah, or but I think you're always going to have that little worry in the back of your mind because you have to remember the good later up, in a good uppercut there from Ansel got through. You're later in the fight now, so your legs are tired, so they're going to not hold, the, well, don't stand as much power, will they? They won't hold you up as well if you do get clipped. So he's better off playing it safe, but you never know. Tom Ansel is going to continue. Lovely, lovely right up there from Denikaya. This, this is an excellent display from Denikaya. Oh, superb footwork to just change the angle and. What's happened there? Gum shield spat out? his gum shield out, yeah. Who, Ansel? Ansel spat his gum shield, yeah. I feel like now Denikayev's looked at his corner and give a little nod. I think he's going to go for it now, Denikayev. Well, he's got a minute left in this. Oh, he's, he's got a minute left Denikayev's in this ninth go for round. Now. Your he's call is really raucous now. Denikayev chipping away at Tom Ansel's body again as he has been all fight. Good double jab from Tom Ansel, keeping himself in there. Still moving that head, keeping himself off at a top left. Again, drops line. down. This is... Must be so frustrating for Tom Ansel. Ansel Lanza. Meaty, robust looking jab, but gets a roar from his fans. But I'm afraid that is not enough to win you these rounds. Dennis Denikayev. Both lads slugging it out here in the middle of the ring. It's good to see. Both giving it their all. Shows how much this title means to them both. Got a few. We're well past the three minute mark, but we did have a stoppage for that. Here we go, 10 seconds. And again, those beautiful, mate. Beautiful, beautiful slick 
hands of Denis Denikayev. He's got lovely hand speed for the weight, Denikayev, and that jab is absolutely beautiful. Last round for this one then, Ad. Oh, I've got right, Tom, Tom Amstel needs a knockout now, doesn't he, really? Yes, yeah, for me, 100%. I've got Denikayev in a handsome lead. Um, and what I will say now, before the show finishes, Steve Goodwin, two brilliant Southern Area title fights tonight. Brilliant. It's been another very good night's boxing. Nice, smooth show. Well-matched fights. And none of, and us, had to, none of us had to pay. Great, isn't it? What are you on about? Paid £100 for my ringside seat. Oh, it's this going has been worth, I tell you what, if you did buy a ticket, this has been worth every penny this evening's boxing. Oh, and this is the icing on the cake. An absolutely enthralling 10 rounds for the Denis Denikayev super lightweight southern area belt. Rose to his feet magnificently after a heavy, heavy, heavy knockdown in the second round. Yeah, and he's just completely outboxed Tom Ansel over the following eight. Dennis Denikayev will definitely have to see the doctors after this because that was a really heavy knockdown. I'm so surprised that he's got up and recovered the way he has. Oh, he's looked, he's looked superb. Yeah, he has, brilliant. What a lovely little screw shot there as well as he moved around Tom Axel. <sighs> Dennis Denikayev. He's almost is... showboating now. He's won this. He, no, he must know that this fight is in the bag. This has been a, a clinic. So the clock ebbs away from Tom Ansel's challenge to Denis Denikayev. Tom Ansel kicked him then high on the head with a right hook. It's absolutely a roost coming off in here. Oh, just the lined him up there, off. Ansel, as Denikayev bounced back off the ropes. Every time you think Tom Ansel might be about to have some success, Dennis Denikayev just just takes that away. Dennis Denikayev will have some blisters on them foot on them shoes tonight. He'll have blisters on the bottoms of them feet. Well, he's moved lovely. The 26-year-old lives in Barking from Lithuania is surely set. Barring anything so shocking in these last 30 seconds to still be the Southern Area Super Lightweight Champion. What a brilliant fight. Can't take your eyes off it, can you? Both still going out for level at the last 10. Come on, boys. Both really letting their hands go. And ended an embrace, both celebrating, but... Brilliant fight, that. Well I done to both would lads. be very surprised if this goes to Tom Ansel, yeah. as his if Dennis coach lifts doesn't get him that. aloft. Tom Ansel celebrates as if he's won it, but I'd be hugely surprised if he has. Yeah, Dennis Denikaya for me, by a landslide. In fact, if I'm honest, the only rounds he lost is the round he was dropped in, in my opinion. Yeah, you gave one. I one gave draw. one one drawn round in I think round four because I couldn't split them. Um, but that's the only round he lost was round two for me. Let's see how the judges have it. I have it 99-92, you have it 99-93. 99-93, I have it.
Yeah, so Jamie, Jamie's card matches the referees 98-93 to Denis Denikayev, still unbeaten, still the Southern Era Super Lightweight Challenge, Challenge? Champion? <laughs> Challenger Tom Ansel goes home empty-handed with a drawn round and a 10-8 round to his name. Both lads can take positives from that. Brilliant performance from both lads. Tom Tom Hansel done very, very well. Um, Dennis Denikayev, the recovery powers from God. Ridiculous. I, I tell you what, I would really like to see Dennis Denikayev against Sajid Abid. Yeah. I think that yeah, would be yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Um, Denikayev's impressed me tonight. That's the first time I've watched him. Uh, and he's impressed me tonight. Great. A great fight, a great evening's boxing. Thank you very much. Great evening's boxing. Pleasure. Thank you for having me, Adam. I'll see you all soon.